so mega freaking bright now. Yeah. It doesn't feel like. Uh, is this beauty? Am I beauty? Yeah. <laughs> my beauty. Am I beauty? Am I be yes. Okay, what's up? So we're back with another shoot this time around in a my friend's high on taste office. We're just borrowing his backdrop and space. The weather is absolutely shitting outside. It's raining for like the past two days and it's cold. So indoor shoots this time around. And today we have our lovely Lollian. Previously, she helped us in our shoot in our whole cyberpunk mini shoot things. The video is in the description below if you want to go and watch it. But uh, that was a nice one. Today she'll be our main model and if you can, you can explain your outfit. I'm not exactly sure what is it. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Han Fu. It's trending in China and recently we got trending in Singapore. Traditional Chinese outfit. Very Chinese, very big. Yeah. <laughs> As I saw, I saw on the Facebook, she posted a photo of all the headpieces and the sets that she was uh, making online. So I kind of asked her, like, hey, grab a shoot since we have time and uh, we got nothing better to do. I do actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really like the intricacies of all the headpieces here and how you like shine in the light. That's why I specifically wanted a back bit shot to go through the view and all the little sparkly bits on top as well. And for lighting wise, today we're going to be mostly uh, like kind of a low key lighting. We've got a Forza 300 on the back as a kind of like a circle light on the background. Because that's the idea is that we want like a, like a square or rectangle aspect ratio for the photo. But the background we have a more interesting like circle kind of like a geometry on light. Then we have the Forza 60B on uh, near tungsten, about 300 Kelvin, blasting through. Why you go away? Yeah, but blasting through, blasting through her happies and the head so that it kind of illuminates her work. And with the tungsten, I went with the tungsten lighting instead of the daylight lighting as well because her headpiece, her garment, they're all kind of bold. So it kind of is like accentuates, accentuates, brings out the detail in there as well. Then on that corner over there, we have another non -light Forza 60 bouncing off the ceiling just to give us a little bit more uh, ambient light so that we have a little bit more feel. But most of the light comes from this max power is very bright. Uh, bouncing into a mirror on this stand on one of these uh, Kupo Max arms. Mm -hmm. It's not Kupo. It's just one of these uh, friction arms and we have another Kupo Max arm over there. Um, the light bouncing off the mirror onto the person's like, her face creating a, a hard light. Just like a box cut of light. So that should look a bit more interesting. And another reflector here just to fill in a little bit of light rather than Having a completely hard source, you, it, usually it's not very effective on the person. So a little bit of bounce kind of helps quite a lot. Then, um, as usual, we are running on, well, I'm running on my Nikon Z6, but this time around I'm using my 85mm lens mostly because I don't really have much space to work with here. And on top of that, we have the usual black promise, uh, one quarter strength on this one, just to kind of do out the highlights a little bit make it more soft but if we will see in halfway through the shoot whether I'm removing that or not but sometimes I do want a like, very crisp sharp shot and of course with ambient uh, we're going to be seeing whether this works or not but we have our atmosphere and our spray give it a little bit of move and of course we have our monitoring with the Exune Cine Eye on the tablet here that, so that my model can see what's going on and other people behind can see too if they decided to download the app and watch themselves <laughs> alright so Let's crack on. <laughs> Done with the shot, uh, at least the initial one that I really wanted to try out. So now is the time where you can just uh, be all free and try the, the other different shots that I really wanted. Yeah, I can't see your telly like now. Damn it, Mad Box suck. 
So right now, basically, we're doing a very backlit shot. Uh, we have the tungsten light right on the top, shining down onto her headdress and everything again. It looks more stage lighting. Uh, Cause we wanted a movement shot, I wanted to make it like more grandiose, like she's on the stage and all. So we have one light pointing towards her, and the other light that has um, double layered straw filter pointing up towards the ceiling to give more ambient feel. Cause otherwise it's just black with just one beam of light coming down. You can't see any detail of the dress or her face. Then um, on uh, on that as well, we have a golden reflector on the bottom just to fill in some of the light back up. So that's the shot, and she's now waiting for us. So let's get on. Get it. Here's a little product that we can uh, recommend wholeheartedly. Amosol aerosol is when you need a smoke machine or hazer and a really small confined environment and you want a lot of control. This is something you can get and use really easily. It's kind of expensive but it saved me so much during shoots. You want smoke effects or really like small bursts of smoke, you can use this as well. You want to fill up the room with haze to get a little bit more atmosphere, reduce the contrast a little bit more, you can also use this. So in this situation, what the set we have here is basically we're going to have her twirl and dance to like reenact like a stage scene with one light on top. And usually with stage or performances, you have smoke to kind of highlight and be more smoke, make it look more epic looking. So that's where this haze will come in. And for our lighting, Usually if there's only one light, it's going to be too much contrast as well. Bouncing some of the lights off the mirrors back onto her face and with another light up, as a general feel like bouncing off from the ceiling. They're all a tungsten colour because uh, we want that deep orange golden glow from her outfit along with her fans and her crown in the green. Speaking of which, we should probably give you the fan. <laughs> Okay, let's end of the shoot. <laughs> but in all seriousness, that's the end of the shoot. Uh, I think we got pretty good shots, uh, both the static and the dynamic shots. So thanks to the team again for helping out. There's Lordia, Dom, and Farhan in the back. So, uh, we'll spot the photos whenever you will see them. I have no idea. Work has been tiring. So, thanks, Lordia, once more. That's our model. And uh, thank you again, JH, for putting behind the camera and doing all the BTS work. See you guys next time. <laughs> Transition wise. <laughs>